Hello, it's Mark again. This is going to be part three of my RPG Maker Let's Make a Game series. Um, I just finished making the school. Um, I could use more details, but I'm going to do that later, kind of fine tuning. For now, I'm actually going to start the event that starts the game. So let's start with some uh, events and uh, see where it goes from there. So, my plan is when you first start the game, you're in your classroom, class is about to finish up, and the main character, Max, is talking to his friend about this new game that's coming out. So let's start off. The player... Hmm, where should I start? Uh, I want to have Aaron sitting in the back of the class. Okay, so... Aaron. Okay. Now I did put him on the, the Max walk tile set if you remember from uh, my first episode put him right there okay same character action button he's not gonna do anything of course the first of the original uh, your character starting position is gonna be right next to him okay and I just, I just gotta fill us in with some events um, I'm, just, I'm just gonna name these students student And we're gonna use the SF, not kids, because they look too small. This is supposed to be like a high school. So the youngest kids, okay. Student, bam. Okay, and I'm just gonna copy and paste most of these. Put some in the cafeteria. Okay, now I know they all look the same. I'm gonna change that. <laughs> Hey, see, do any others look really young? Nurses, old ladies, old men, priests, women, there we go. Okay, put you there. It's gonna change a lot of their graphics. And I will give these NPCs some dialogue um, later on. Just for now, it's just going to be like, you know, there's NPCs in the same class as you. Okay, don't want any two to be the same, really. Just for variety, I will add some kids in here. Okay, let's do a female kid. There we go. Okay, he's facing down. Now a lot of these a lot of these tiles I actually downloaded. Um so you might not have this tile set if you play. When you go to whoop, he's facing the wrong direction. When you're playing the game. Okay, face up. Alright, there you go. Okay, and I will add a teacher. Oop. That's going to be one of the older SF people. Pretty sure SF stands for sci-fi, by the way. <laughs> um, okay, he looks like, a, looks like a professor. Professor with brown hair. Okay, so name him teacher. Oop. Okay, so I will add more NPCs later, but first I'm going to do the event so what I usually do for the event is I put the auto run in the top left corner trigger auto run and uh, I don't know what to name it just to start event huh. I may need to I want it to kind of fade in a little bit it's just the very, very start of the game. Like when you hit start game, you're fading in. So I'm not sure if I should do this here or not. But the first thing we're going to do is tint the screen black and take about five frames to do it really quick. 
So hopefully you won't see that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and test it. Let's see what it looks like. I might need to make a different map that's blank and then transfer to this one. Yeah, see how it was like a flash? So I might need to do that. Um, I'll put that... Create a new map. Okay, so I want to put the player start here. Is it, am I starting as transparent? Start transparent, okay. And if, I'll just make this, make an event for auto run. Now all this is going to do is he set player. He's going to turn up so he's facing the front of the room. Turn off. Um, I can, yeah, I can turn off. Wait for completion. And then transfer the player to the high school in his seat. Okay. Oh yeah, I also gotta do that. Um, on the under the tint screen here. Make sure it's really quick. Wait for completion. Bam. Now in high school. At the top, make the tint screen normal and take about two seconds to do so. Okay, I am gonna have some message stuff, I'm not gonna have just all the messages as a messages at the bottom of the screen. I am going to include some plugins that will allow me to show, like, the, just like the pop up above the you know, NPC's head type messages but I will actually do that later okay so for now you come in the screen fades to normal okay and I'll put in like a wait of another what two seconds again and uh, okay for the teachers or for NPCs it's not in your party or not important characters they're not going to have a face image Okay, so let's start with the show tasks. Let's see what this guy is going to say. So the teacher is pretty much just f finishing his lecture on whatever. Um, I haven't really decided. I'll probably do history or something. Um, so he's finishing his lecture. So he's going to say, let's see, window position at the bottom. All right. Um, let's see, that's all f for today. Um, make sure to study for tomorrow's test. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have word wrap eventually. Right now, I don't have it. Uh, I wonder if I should download those plugins first. Hmm. Yeah, I am going to download those plugins right now. Um, I'm gonna actually just going to copy them from my last project. So let me cancel this. Um, okay, let me just get... You want to see this. Get my script. Okay, now for the plugins, I am going to use... I have like every single Gamefly plugin. I just downloaded his giant pack that he has. So let's see. That's just gonna be his message window, I think. Message core. Yep. You know, screw it. I'm gonna copy all of his add-ons over. I don't need <laughs> there's a lot of plugins in there already don't need those yeah okay paste them in there all right give me a second I just copied 211 files that's a lot of plugins okay all 
Alright, so let's get his message core. Message core, alright. Sorry, I, I should have done this already. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to open my old project. Plugins. Copy all of them. <laughs> I'm not sure this is the best idea, but we're going to we're going to do it. All right. Bam. Now this has the same plugin. I'm going to get rid of a lot of these because I don't really need this many plugins for this game. But for the sake of the event, I do I do want the word wrap and everything already configured because that was working out well for me. So word wrap should be turned on by default. We'll, I'll test that out in a minute. So made a macro for ww for word wrap and then okay, they should make a name tag for him okay so let's try i want to test this okay that's all for today i should just study for Friday's test Um, use the last 15 minutes of your, yeah, okay. <laughs> your assignment. Alright. So the player's going to be sitting right here. And I'm going to make it so you're kind of like talking to your friend. You're talking to Aaron. Max is talking to Aaron. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put like a little two second wait in there. Okay, and then player. Okay, he's gonna turn to the right. <laughs> kind of is gonna have his face because he's a main character, right? Max face. I'm going to also make another macro for him because I don't want to type in WW every single time and then N and his name, Max. Because Yanfly has his message macros plugin, which is absolutely amazing because you can just type this in once and then make a shortcut for it. So if I made, you know, WW and then his name is Max for the title and then, you know, face index, you know, four or whatever for his expression. I can just copy all that and make a macro for like backslash max. It'll just fill in the whole thing. So I'm actually gonna do that right now. <laughs> Why not? Oop, I want sound. Or the plugin. Now since I did copy this, it is still made for my my last game, so I need to change that a little bit. Can we find it? Where is it? Uh, macros, macros, message core, message macros. Here we go. So right here, I did the same kind of thing for his name is Isaac. So I want to change this to Max. Okay, see how it's all on one macro. Basically, the actor's face is putting in there. Uh, so actor face guy in the first slot which is Aaron or Max and then the name of actor one which is also Aaron and then word wrap okay and I'm gonna do these changes to Aaron for actor two okay so make sure they are actor one and two Max Aaron all right so let's start this again 
So now to do a show text, all you do is backslash max. It'll do all the work for me. Okay. Now for organizational purposes, since word wrap is turned on, I can put a space here or an enter, so a line break, and it won't show up in the game because word wrap is turned on. Word wrap ignores manual line breaks. Got to type in like br for line break if you have word wrap turned on. Okay. So. Um. Normally, when I want to say a main person's name, I put in like the actor name. But since you cannot change his name, I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of make it like your friends a little annoyed that you're trying to talk to him. So let's do balloon icon, Aaron. And do like a little uh, silence. <laughs> okay, there we go. Copy that. <laughs> and do it again. Copy that again. <laughs> okay, now it's going to show his annoyance. By doing a movement route, Just turn to the left. No. Aaron, since that's the macro I made. He's all mad at what? I'm trying to finish this. Oh, yeah, there's another plugin that I use. I got it from Steam. It basically lets you change what side of the message box that the, uh, the, the face is on. Um, I will. I do need to configure that later, but it's actually a pretty quick thing. So I'll do that another time. Uh, probably next episode or in between episodes. Well, for now. Oh yeah, um, Land of Senris is coming out, coming out tonight. I gotta get it. Okay, and I always gotta copy and paste their names. Um, what for? Huh. I'm really into those kind of games. Now the game that's coming out is like a virtual reality game. Um, you're not going to get stuck in it or anything. It's not going to have that sort of, you know, die in the game, die in real life vibe. But it is not the first of its kind. It's kind of like the second or third. Because you know how the first game that comes out that said this type is good, but it's just not that great. Um, that's another VR game. You should play with me, okay? I'm gonna have Aaron turn back forward, like he's kind of like, uh, back to my assignment. Turn up. Uh, I don't know, man. Let's see, I don't. I don't have the time for that. <laughs> I'm not sure how, I should, how long I should make this event. Um, it's just like an intro. You know, I don't want. I don't want to have the player go through like a super long story first. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll get the game tonight and test it out. Let you know how good it is. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Let me finish this. So we can go home.
Okay, and then let's do one more show text event. Oh, let me just copy Max again. Now I want to add at the end of this face index. His happy face was the one, I believe. Now that is also part of the, the Yanfly's message core, the face index command. Essentially, face index one, it assigns like zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, that way, you don't have to specify every single time, like what this face is for each message. You don't got to actually manually select them. Um, this lets me put in a text command, and it, and it works out that way. Um, cool. See you tomorrow. And I'll have, let's see, have the player turn up again. Wait two seconds, and then I'm going back to the teacher up here. He's pretty much going to say, you know, okay. Just finished. Uh, uh, actually, let's see. I'm finished with your assignment. You'll know. Okay, now at this point, player will get control. I do have to turn off the auto run event, so it's a cell switch, no big deal. And then new page, cell switch A. Okay. That way it won't get stuck in a loop, won't keep playing over and over again. So let's test this out. Oh, I forgot I had this. <laughs> this is some random dude's loading plugin. I'm probably gonna get rid of this. I don't need it. I also notice it's widescreen. Uh, I forgot I had a little function. But this will be this will be edited and so forth. Okay, I forgot to make the player. I forgot to make the player uh, visible. I'll have to go back and do that. Actually, I'll do it right now while the game is running in the background. Make it part of the auto run before it fades in. Uh, transparency off. Okay. Apply. Okay. Save. All right. Reload the page. And go through the loading thing again. <laughs> no game. Okay. Now it should fade in slowly. All right. There you are. I should move the camera a little bit further up. That way is. He's not way at the very top of the screen. Okay, teacher, that's all for today. Friday's test. Use life, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alright, so it shows his, you know, his face, his name. The macro worked. <laughs> okay. Aaron. <laughs> what? I'm trying to finish. Okay, I should give him the, the angry face right there. So let's do that. Okay, I'm trying to study this, so what I'll do, I'll do face index 2. That's just mad face. Alright, apply that. Land of Tennis is coming out tonight. Are you going to get it? What for? Now, when I do this, I'm going to add his, put his face over here. Show that it's a two way conversation. I'm not really into those kind of games, but it's another VR game. You should play with me. I don't know, man. I don't really have the time. I don't really have the time for MMOs. I'll tell you what. I'll get the game tonight and test it out, and let you know how good it is. Whatever. Let me finish it. We can go home. Cool. See you tomorrow. Okay. Now, this why I should have control of the game. Oh, the teacher's still talking. Class is dismissed. Whenever you're finished with your assignment, see you tomorrow. Okay. Now I should have control. All right. Now I'm gonna make it so that all these NPCs say something. Um, notice that I have a little bit of like slow camera movement. That's another, that's another plugin. I think it's from some random dude. I'm gonna edit that so it's not as slow. Uh, but at this point, I'm gonna have it so you can go around. You can 
you know, talk to the different NPCs. They'll give mostly just flavor text because, you know, they're not really that important to the story at all. Um, I'll make the book say a few things. You know, you can go to the bathroom. <laughs> just for fun, I'll put some flavor text in here. I don't know. Maybe I'll put like a. You know, so you can eat something. Okay. Also, to test it, let's test out the uh, transfer events. Yep, I'm back in town. Okay, now notice when I open the door, you can see like the background does that. I gotta fix that too. Okay. So, fix that after this. Okay. So this door should not be this one, it should be this one. That way the background is black, so you can't really see what's behind the door, which is just a wall. Alright. Also, I notice I do have those other doors. Let's see. These doors are perfect for a school, which reminds me. Oh, I believe that. I'm going to add lockers. I do believe there are lockers. I I hope. Well, I thought there were. I'll kind of add some lockers on here, just you know, because it's a school. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm pretty much just going to. Uh, fill in these flavor text, you know, you, you're not going to watch me do all that. I am going to configure some of my plugins so they're different from what they were because a lot of my old settings are saved. Um, but next episode, I plan on having you go, you're going to go home to your house, which I'm going to have to make my house. This is going to be the house down here. Uh, from there, you're going to have dinner with your parents. Uh, you're gonna talk about the, talk about the game you're gonna buy, and then I'm gonna have the character go to the store, buy the game, come back home and load it up. And when the game is loaded up, that is when you actually get to go into the world. And I'm gonna have to design the starting zone of that game. And it's gonna have the tutorial for the game, explain some of the mechanics and so forth. So uh, I'm gonna do that after this. Um, for now, this is gonna be the end of this episode. So tune in next time. I'm gonna I'm gonna build the player house and the events leading up to going to the store and buying the game and then coming back and booting it up for the first time. Okay, so until then, uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you later.